Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. This is the week of September 19th, 2022. The first story this week, we're going to talk about the Bengals game fiasco that happened about a year ago, a little bit less earlier this year. And uh, the pilots were actually finally charged by the DOJ and it doesn't look like it's going to be fun for them. We'll talk about the DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise and Thermal that are right around the corner. We'll also talk about a drone that's, that went to interfere with wildlife operation and then now an incident commander wants to shoot down drones. And then lastly, we'll talk about about a man that was found by a drone by the police and that was actually a good story so let's get to it All right, the first story this week is one of those a don't be that guy story. Uh, we actually have a couple of them this week, unfortunately. But two men in Cincinnati have been charged with federal crimes after flying their drones over a pro sporting event. I'm sure you remember that if you've been following us for a while. Uh, this was the famous Bengals game incident where uh, one of the pilot decided that he was going to go fly inside of the stadium, fly over the game, fly over the players. And uh, all of that, of course, during a TFR, a temporary flight restriction. Uh, not only that, but he decided to put the footage online and then kind of uh, actually taunt the FAA saying that there's nothing that they could do about it. Uh, he posted a bunch of comments in the, uh, under the video, which by the way have been deleted ever since, except one of those comments is still there where somebody asked him if he flew illegally and he actually, or if he actually flew legally the flight and he replied no. Uh, that comment is still present on the video. But 24-year-old uh, Dalen Dabney and 30-year-old Travis Lenoff were charged this week after one of them flew over the game uh, that was uh, back in January of 2022. Now, both of these men actually uh, faced three years in prison for flying an unregistered drone. This is what the DOJ was uh, going after them. And then Dabney, the, the one that actually flew, uh, is also charged with violating a TFR, temporary flight restriction. Uh, we're actually glad to see that the DOJ is taking steps. Uh, this is one of those things where, um, you know, it, it, it's okay to make mistakes, but in this case, it was obviously something that uh, they decided to put all over social media. Not only that, but taunt the FAA and basically say, well, there's nothing that you can do. Now, we haven't heard anything about the FAA side of things. This is the DOJ, Department of Justice. Uh, the FAA could also obviously go after these guys for violating a bunch of other things as well that are in the FAA's regulation. So we'll keep you posted about what happens. Uh, I found interesting that uh, flying with an unregistered drone can actually uh, face you up to three years in prison when uh, f violating a TFR would only be one year. I think it's a little bit backwards. Uh, I think it's actually a lot of time in jail uh, for, quite frankly, not having a piece of paper on your drone, but um, yeah, it is what it is. The next story this week comes from DJI. The Mavic 3 Enterprise and the Mavic 3 Thermal look like they're right around the corner uh, being released. As a matter of fact, if you go on the FAA website, on the uh, Declaration of Compliance website for the FAA, uh, these two drones were already approved for remote ID and to be compliant with remote ID. Uh, as we talked about last, uh, maybe two weeks ago, the FAA approved a bunch of drones already for remote ID and they just added a few more to the list. So uh, DJI released an event for next week up uh, September 27th. It's called Rise to the Call. And we think this is where the Mavic 3 is going to be released. Uh, you can see uh, a picture of a Mavic looking drone with a miniature uh, M30 payload. Uh, it looks like it's going to be thermal and possibly just a regular enterprise version like we've seen before. Uh, it also looks like there is a port at the top of the drone, which would be very reminiscent of the enterprise series that we've seen with the Mavic and the Mavic 2 series in the past. And then it also looks like it has a built-in strobe light. So we'll keep you posted, obviously, when more of that information comes through. Uh, speaking of DJI, there has also been a few leaks about the Inspire 3. Uh, some images were shown this week of a drone that looks like an Inspire series, if you want. Uh, there were some specs that were leaked in the past, uh, predicted to have the 8K 75 frame per second uh, technology that we saw on the uh, Zenmuse X7 camera uh, that came with the uh, Ronin 4D, and then a few other things that are going to be in here, possibly a super 35 uh, mil sensor as well on the drone, but we'll uh, we'll let you know when we hear more. Uh, another don't be that guy story this week, a rogue drone interfered with firefighting operation in Wyoming this week, and uh, well, there's two things about it. One, don't be the idiot that's going to go fly your drone during a wildlife operation. Uh, that's uh, absolutely horrible, but also not a big kudos to the county fire warren, uh, Aaron Clark, who said, in the future, if a drone appears near wildlife, the fire incident commander will be 
be instructed to uh, will instruct law enforcement to shoot down the drone immediately. Uh, please, please, please don't start shooting at drones in the air. There is other aircraft that are flying possibly in the area or whatever it is. Please don't shoot at drones. Uh, there are other ways to deal with this, but also please don't be that guy that's going to be uh, flying near wildfires. And the last story is finally a good one. Uh, good use of drone. There, a lost man was found within minutes of a police drone being launched in the air. Uh, the man was separated from the family during a hiking and the family couldn't find him. Uh, multiple agencies responded and one of the police department decided to launch a drone. Uh, within 60 seconds, they were able to uh, find the person laying in the field and then they responded, uh, found the guy and then it looks like he was all right. So uh, that's uh, a drones for good story like we always like to hear. All right, that's all I have for you this week. Leave your comments down in here. I want to hear what you think about uh, the possible sentence for these uh, two guys that were caught flying in the Bengals game. And then uh, also let us know if you're excited about seeing uh, more drones and spending more money and uh, giving it to DJI at the moment. So, all right, that's all I have. We'll see you guys next week. Mm -hmm.